Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Resolution and welcome back to another episode of Graveyard Keeper. Now, we seem to be starting every single episode, or well, the last few episodes, um, walking off to the astrologer for some strange reason. And every single time, it always seems to be a week in between <laughs> in between episodes. I'm going to try and make that... Uh, I'm not going to try and make that a habit. It just so happens to be what it is. Um, and you know what? It's just fortunate. It's just something I've noticed. So, we're off again to the astrologer. This time with the restoration tools. Again, we're picking up some apples along the way to make some red jelly because they're a good source of energy. Uh, but hopefully this time the astrologer likes us a little bit more if we give him, yep, the restoration tools. I have the restoration tools. I hope these are the right tools. Not the best I've ever worked with, but I think they'll do. Task completed. We've got another story. Uh, ooh, he doesn't like us, does he? Um, that's all right. So we've got the restoration tools. He can sit on that and think about it for a bit. Um, and I'm going to leave him to it. Now, is there anything I can do? Trade with you. Do, 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 Okay. No, nothing I can trade with you here. Um, because I'd like to get a better rod. Okay. You've got a better rod. Cool. We'll leave that till next time. So. We've done that. Uh, at the end of the last episode, we did manage to start using the zombies, I guess you can say that. Uh, where we've plucked them, we've chucked one guy down at a zombie farm. So he's continuously making carrots for us. And the other guy, we've sort of uh, built a, what do you call it? A woodcutter's out, a sawmill? Essentially a sawmill. So he's chopping down the great tree for us, which is great, you know. We'll get an unlimited supply of wood, in essence, an unlimited supply of wood. So we're going we're going to start with that. Um, we we also want the courier, the courier. Uh, basically, we want the courier in order to transport the zombies or transport the zombie produce back to the main base hub type things. So we'll focus on that uh, in this session. Well, basically, we'll focus on trying to get more zombies. So while we're here, I've got some sliced meat. I'll leave the sliced meat where they are. That's pretty full up, honestly. But we'll put the bat wings away because I don't really need them in my inventory. Uh, so let's have a look at making zombies. Now, what do we need to do to make some zombies? Now, I think the guy said we needed the essence, the blood essence. Okay, so we need a body and a resource to use. Is this the... No, that's an embalming table. What's a res resurrection table? That's a resurrection table there. Okay, required... Resources required. Okay, right. So let's take one of the bodies we have. He's at 98, he's at... Okay, so let's take this guy, because he's not too bad. Now, if you've noticed, we haven't really put any bodies back... Any body back into... Oh, we need 10 faith. Uh, we haven't put any body into the ground recently. And that is uh, by design, because... Well, at the moment, we're not upgrading our church. We want to look to upgrade our church, which is probably what we should do next. We want more faith. How much faith do I actually have? Um, so, getting more bodies is 10 faith. I've got zero faith at the moment. Okay, well, well, it's going to take a while to get more bodies in that case. Uh, let's have a look at what technologies we can to upgrade the church. Uh, so, we can get the candelabra. So, last time we get we had a whole heap. We got managed to get a whole heap of blue stuff. The blue stuff are good, because that means we can get more stuff. So, let's get the soft church benches, because we want that, and the candelabras, because why the heck not? Um, and let's head up to the church and see what needs, what resources is requ are required in order to upgrade them. Now we also managed to get the... So we got the wood church shrine. I think that's what the, the main thing we're standing on is. Uh, so the can candelabras need complex iron parts and not so complex iron parts. Uh, okay, the confessional needs complex iron parts and some wooden planks. 12 to be exact. Okay, and the soft church wood bank. Silk. Okay, so we need to buy a lot of silk by the looks of it. Uh, the merchant is going to be our best friend. I think that's 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 the story there. The merchant's going to be our, our very best friend because he's going to get us a lot of uh, silk. Um, now, if you guys were watching the last episode, it takes two silk. We were trying to buy silk to upgrade the refugee camp, and we didn't realize it takes two silk. Two silk in order to upgrade the refugee camp. Uh, what was I making here? Complex iron parts and simple iron parts. That's right. Uh, so that was a little bit of a mess up on my behalf. So let's make a few complex iron parts. Let's make, we'll make 
four, four. We've got a shit ton of iron. So let's just make stuff at the moment for the time being. Now we've got enough food to last us through the day as well, so we won't worry about sleeping tonight. Although I do kind of want to save the game a little bit. Uh, we'll make some simple iron parts. Let's make five of these. Um, actually, we probably need four of them, but that's all right. Because four times five, four times five gives you the um, the right amount to make them. I think you need four and four to make the candelabras. Uh, now I don't re remember. Oh, we need the planks as well. We do need planks. So from last session or from previous sessions, realistically, we should be making filters, which I'm running our logs to make with. Make two filters there. Two sets of seven filters. Uh, let's start using our jelly. Because uh, the filters, then if I go here, I can make more planks with them. So we need 12 of them. Now, the reason why I'm doing it this way is because it's more resource friendly to do it. It's not so much energy friendly to do, but it's more resource friendly. So hopefully I save on a bit of resource. I had, I had this log pile full, absolutely full at the beginning of the last episode. I did spend some time to go and, and dig up some, some or cut down some trees and, you know, the sort. But um, look at that. I've only got one log left. Where, is, where have all the good logs gone? All right, so hopefully these will be enough to raise our church level just by that little bit. Um, let's go up here. Levele. Levele jable. Uh, let's build the... Not the wooden church shrine. Let's build the confessional. Assuming I've got somewhere to build it. Uh, Crapoli. Okay, well, those two have to go. Yeah, so some, one of these things have to, has, has to go. Let's get rid of these two. Uh, and the candelabra mark twos. Yeah, so they will. They, okay, they will have to go as well. So let's let's get rid of these two as well. Can I destroy? What? Why can I remove those two? Can I just upgrade them? Why? I still still do not understand why the wall candelabras just don't go on the wall. It just boggles my mind. And I don't understand why I can't get rid of these two. Is there a two demolition limit or something? Let's get rid of a few things. Let's get some energy back. Oh, we get some parts back. We get some metal scrap and some simple iron parts. That's not too bad, at least. Uh, make a confessional. Let's go. Let's rotate. Oops. Done. Uh, can we now destroy other stuff? I don't want to destroy that. I want to destroy this. Can I not? Oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, wait. Let's remove both of them. Done. Okay, let's remove that. Why do I have to go all the way around? That doesn't make sense at all. Okay. We're getting there. Qualities has dropped to 11 from, what was that, 17? I think it was. That's alright. We'll, we'll, we'll bring it back up in a sec. Plus 7. Okay, that's, that's, that's interesting. Plus seven. Uh, candelabra mark twos. Let's build two there. Lovely. We've got enough parts. Ooh. Okay. We're up at 22. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. Oh, story. We've got a story there for some reason. Let's grab the prey for faith. Hopefully this gives me enough faith to... I need 10 faith to start making another zombie. So we'll have to... I wonder if that's the wooden thing. Oh, there's a lot of people this time. 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 people. Our church is great. Give me your faith. Uh, so four, four to start with. Let's start the prayer. So I need six more faith. Come on. Come on, guys. Six faith. Okay, okay, nice. Okay, okay, nice. Come on. No, I've only got seven. Ah, uh, well. It was worth a shot. 21 each. I think that's a little bit less than before. I think it is. Because I used to be getting 29 each. Well, that's alright. You know what? I've got 7 faith. There's no one to make a confession. Okay, well, 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 we'll keep an eye on that. Which wooden church shrine? It gives me a plus 5. Looks like I don't have that at all. Don't even know where to start putting this. 
but we need four wooden beams and four wooden planks. That is actually quite easy to do. I could do that. Let's make let's make a church shrine. Uh, I'll, I'll do it now because otherwise I'll forget. Uh, remember, do not touch the faith. I can't touch the faith because I got no space. Um, hmm. Put the story. I'll put the story away at least. Uh, let's get some food in me as well. Oops. Hey, hey, Basa. Oh, yep. There you go. Got a lot of carrot cutlets. So let's go carrot cutlets. I've got literally a hundred plus in my inventory at the moment. Should be eating them up. Should really be eating them up. Uh, let's head back into our little workshop. Can I drop anything in here? Uh, some apples, yes. Nope. Every oh, no. I'm oh, everything's full up. Oh, crap. Okay, let's take the ash out. Let's put the apples in. Can I do anything with the meat? You know what? I'll make some baked meats right now. There you go. Okay. Um, let's get rid of the metal scraps. So that's doing that thing right then. Now we needed the beams. We need four beams. So I'll make two of these. I need two logs. Ah. Oh. Okay, that's all right. Lucky, we've, lucky for us, we've got trees all around, and I'm really hoping, hoping we'll check on our zombie guy uh, shortly, and he'll be able to give us some, some free logs. Okay, that's four. That's actually a decent amount, amount of logs. I'll be using two right now, so it gives us three to uh, play around with. Oops. Come on. That was actually a really good hole right there. Okay, well, last one. There you go. Now, we do have a lot of red left, red technology bits. So that's fine. We also, oops, too far. <laughs> we also do need to make wine at some point, honestly speaking. Uh, but let's make two wooden beams for now. Not enough. Okay, let's eat some of the carrot thingos that we've got. Lovely. And I think that's all we need to start with. Or do we need planks? Uh, I've got six in, in my inventory already. Jesus, should have just should have just used that. All right, let's take the big meats and put it in our inventory as well. Let's eat one. Of, let's eat both of them for now, just so we have more space in the inventory. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Quick, 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 quick. quick. Even with even with the tunnels, like it takes forever to get from place to place. Um. We're back here. Now we need... I forgot the wooden planks. No, I, di I didn't forget. I mentioned it, but... Apparently it wasn't enough. Sorry, apparently just mentioning it wasn't enough for me to remember to take the wooden planks with me. Gosh darn it. Now, I wonder whether we actually get more space in the future to put a lot more different things. Um, it'll be nice to have space to put more different things. Let's put that in there. Um, we'll check in a minute whether the the bishop or the cardinal, whatever his name is, actually has a quest for us so that we can upgrade the church. I know, or my guess is that that's new. Am I just sleep deprived? Okay, well I'm going to sleep then. Um, I know the last uh last time we had a chat to him, um, he sort of he sort of upgraded the ability to use the other side of our graveyard. So my guess is because of how it run down the church looks and run down the, the fence looks, uh, we can get him to essentially upgrade our church and space inside perhaps. I'm, I'm not sure. I really am not sure. But my guess is that the church would slowly upgrade as we improve and we get more people um, coming to church and everything. So let's have a look at putting in this wooden church shrine. Does this go? Where does this go? Huh. Do I just replace that? Is that is that what this is? No, it's not. Right, so it's one... Right, okay, so it's one of these slots here. Okay, so what I can do is I can remove that guy there. 
so that at least I have light on both sides. And I get a whole bunch of scrap for it, lovely. That's five scrap, and then I'll put the wooden church shrine. Because I think the wooden church shrine... Oh, you're kidding me. No! It, it just barely... Oh, I need the whole space, don't I? Oh, that's annoying. Oh well, off you go. So, I'm essentially replacing two, four, five. If my math serves me well. I think that, that, that that's exactly what I'm doing. So, wooden church shrine. Let's go. Let's put you that way. And let's build you up. Okay. Ooh, it's got candles that just light up the place. Plus seven. That was actually worth it. That was actually really, really worth it. Okie dokie. You know what? I'm quite happy with that. I'm quite happy with that. Now, um, we do need to do a whole bunch of other things um, to get our zombification process going. Uh, we do need more of those zombie juices, and from memory he said, the guy, the other zombie said, Gunther, Gunther, said that we can get that through, um, whatchamacallit, um, removing blood, was it? Let's have a chat to him now. Uh, tell me about resurrection ingredients. First is some kind of powder, I don't remember exactly which one, is the second ingredient is blood. So it's probably like the life essence powder and blood. That's my guess. We've already got some life essence powder, I can't remember exactly where where from. Uh, but we've got blood. So that's interesting. Uh, we still need more faith before we can summon more zombies. Or any more zombies. So that's fine. Uh, what do we do now? Uh, let's, put, let's drop off the scrap and the glass and all the other bits and pieces that we've got. All the other bits and bobs. So let's drop off the metal scraps, the simple iron parts, the iron ingots. The remainder of the wooden beams, glass, and wood rods. And we've cleared up our inventory quite a fair bit. Now, I can still make another iron ingot from that. Uh, but let's have a check on how our zombie friends are doing. So this guy is pretty much done with... Okay, what, what do I do now? Do I just grab them? Don't you, don't you harvest them? I don't, I don't understand. Do, do I harvest them? Are you waiting for a box? No comprende. Okay, well, I'm going to leave that guy as it is for now. My guess is that because my box is full, he's got nowhere to put the carrots. So I'm going to leave that guy as it is. Let's check on my tree chopping guy. Yeah, let's check on the tree chopping guy. And while we're on... The way up here let's check on how much we actually need to build this apiary type thing uh because candle wax is going to be a real okay that's not too bad simple iron parts wooden planks and paper we can we can build that we can really build that um so candle wax is going to be a thing we need to get candle wax to make candles etc 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 so we'll definitely have to okay so he's still chopping that down that's fine um that will improve our whatchamacallit our church a little bit more so I think that's a goal for now, just to improve the church. Uh, where is that guy? The not the Inquisitor. Necromonicon, Mr. Charm. Donkey. Tent. Okay, so we need to build a tent regardless. Uh, Wagner, he's the poet. Clotho, uh, Smiler. Dig, Master Alric. Am I just not seeing the guy? Am I just blind? Absolutely blind? Inquisitor, Snake Astrologer, Bishop. Bishop, there you go. Okay, so we've got nothing nothing to do with him at the moment. Which is perfectly fine. Uh, we probably just we'll probably just upgrade things as we go along and see where we end up. Uh being. Um okay, so that's kind of a letdown. We've got to wait till we can do anything for right now, which is really unfortunate. Uh, but we've got other things we can do. For example, we can go have a look at how the Ghostbusting team is doing and what we need to actually do more Ghostbusting. 
we might as well, right? We're waiting for a whole bunch of stuff to be, you know, to come on, not say come online, but also have people to be available so we can buy stuff from them. And once we buy stuff from them, um, we can do more things, etc., etc. Can we, can we build anything else? We've got embalming table two. Okay, so we can't build embalming table two. A resurrection table, which we've got. Okay, that's all right. That's, that's all right. We're getting there. Now, we need to build a soul container. From my understanding, the base of a soul container, uh, chest and pallets. So we need a whole bunch of filch. We've got nails and simple parts, so we can build all these. We just need the filch to do them. Okay, that's easy enough. Uh, we've actually got chest already. Organs modification. Okay. Now I remember. I remember we we had a look at organs modification, um, and we didn't know what we were kind of doing uh, at the time. Where's the guy? Where is... Not Slimer, huh? Where's the other guy? Not the Marquis. Or Radric? No. Yurik, that's him. Uh, so he wants us to repair the strange mechanisms and bring him a bottle of oil. The bottle of oil we've got to buy from the guy in town, the uh, hobo. So next time we're in town, we're going to see the merchant the next day anyways. We'll buy some oil from the hobo. So we'll bring him a, bot bottle, a bottle of oil. And we'll build some stuff in the basement uh, to start with. Kind of wish that there was a straight line going from up here to down there. But eh, not everything's perfect, you know what I mean? So let's jump up here. I've already forgotten what we needed. <laughs> uh, okay, simple parts. We need simple parts. We needed some nails. And we need a shit ton of filch. And by a shit ton, I mean not that many at all. Uh, let's make two of these while we're here. And we're back. Okay. I love the music in this area. Okay, soul container. Base. Ayo. Okay, so that's a soul container there. We've already got a chest. Do we need a pallet? I have a funny feeling we kind of need a pallet. Um... Okay, we can build one in here in the very corner there. But can we access it in the future? Yeah, let's just do that for now. It's a little bit out of the way. Why not, right? So let's build a soul, co soul container first. We have, I haven't even begun looking at some of the other machines. Aha, soul container. Let's craft. We've got a sin shard, but we need pieces of stone. Okay, okay. Well, we, can, we can do that. Uh, we can also do this, honestly speaking. And whatever this is, this doesn't allow me to do anything with it for the time being. So glass and skin. Okay, so we can we need some glass, we need some skin, and some stone. Glass, skin, stone. Glass, skin, stone. Glass, skin, stone. Okay, we've got also space for one more body. So glass. Skin, stone, glass, skin, stone. Okay, we've, put away some, we've just put away some glass. A little bit annoyed at myself for that, but that's all right. At least we've got the materials. Now, skin, skin, we've got a fair bit. And I think we need it four. We'll take three for now. <laughs> Pretty sure we had more skin than that. Oh, it's probably in the other chest. All right, so glass, skin, stone, glass, skin, stone. Glass, skin, stone. Glass, skin, stone. If we need skin, I've got body. Yeah, okay, we need skin. So we've got body for that. That's fine. We've got two bodies for that. So that's fine. We can we can definitely grab... Ooh. It's night time. Uh, we can definitely grab some skin off a body if we really, really, really need to. Uh, glass, skin, stone. Yeah, definitely might not be enough skin right there. We can pull some off a body. And I wonder if we pull some skin off a body, whether that body will still be useful for, um, for, uh, whatchamacallit, um, uh, making zombies. So we'll have to have a look at doing that realistically. Glass skin stone, glass skin stone, glass skin stone. Hopefully. So this one we should be, we should have enough for. Yep. I don't remember what the sin shards were. Um, bam, we've got one of these things, a soul container. What do we do with it? 
Okay, that's... That's pretty cool. This is legitimately Ghostbusters. Oh, we've got enough skin. Yay! Okay, perfect. Ooh! My workbench! My, that work workbench. It fills me with deep and primordial fear. There is indeed something frightening about it. I hope we look better than that when now time comes. Haha! <laughs> I'm sorry I got distracted. The purpose of this workbench is to heal the soul. It requires a soul afflicted with sin and organs of various qualities. Okay. Why the organs? As far as I understand it, they absorb the sins from the souls into themselves. It's written here that every sin requires its own organ, although I can't say what that means precisely. What would you do without me? Indeed, what would we do? A human is born pure. But it's impossible for a human to remain pure until the very end, haha. -ha. On the other hand, the soul itself, to simplify things, becomes impure in our side of our bodies. It's generally and generally it is polluted through very specific parts of the body. Okay, yeah. Fortunately for the souls, this process is reversible by inverting the forces supplied by the organs. Maybe we shouldn't have released him all. He could have just sat there forever. Don't take it personally. After all, he was on, he was on his own for a long time. Okie dokie. I have no idea what all that means. But we'll have to find out. Um, I guess I could put one of these bodies. I could take one of them. This is at 97%. That's even more. So let's take that. We put a body into there. Can I? Oh no, that that's where I put the soul, don't I? Do I then put? Do I put the body? Okay, no, no, I don't. I don't put the body in there. So I put the body in there, and that. Can I take the soul? I don't understand what's going on here. I need polishing paste to repair the broken soul portal. But I don't know what this does. Okay. Gonna leave you there then. Oh boy. Uh, it is it is about to become Quake day, so you know what that means on Quake day? That means the merchants in town, and the, when the merchants in town can buy silk and other luxurious goods. I'll put the skin away, I will put the nothing else away because that place is entirely full. I will however take the brains, uh, that's been studied. I'll leave the fat there. I'll take the hearts and the intestine. I'll leave the skull, I'll put everything else in the other chest. Because they don't stack. For some strange, ungodly reason, they don't stack. Alright, so let's buy at least one more one more silk. We'll go see the refugees. We also need to bring some stuff for the apiaries. I think we only needed to make more... Oh, was it filch or was it planks now? Oh, I can't remember. Uh, watch me bring something and then it'll be the completely other thing that I needed to bring. Uh, 50 for gold jewelry. Don't we need that for the... Uh, Stained glass? I think we do. Um, can I buy more of these? I'll buy five. Because we need some to make the pews. I think. Yeah, I think we do. Uh, regardless, let's bring them with us. We'll go to the church first. Um, just to see how much silk it will need to make the pews, I guess. I mean, while we're here. Okay. Look at our church. It looks lovely now. Uh, pews. Yeah, we need two per pew. So I can make two of that, but I need jointing. Jointing, which requires... I don't think I've got jointing just yet. Yeah, no, I need 200 red. Holy crap, holy. That gives me the carpenter's workbench too, though. So 200 red. I'm not that far off, honestly. Um, we do need to go see the refugee camp. I mean, we don't need to go see the refugee camp. We should go and see the refugee camp while we're here. Um, stone columbrium. Okay, so we want to get, we want to fill out the graveyard. Essentially, let's see if we can raise the quality up to 50. I, I have a funny feeling that 50 is our next goal. Or 100. But let's say 50. So we'll definitely need to upgrade a lot of this stuff from wood to gold. And, uh, no, sorry, not wood to gold. Wood to stone. 
<laughs> we'll upgrade them from wood to stone, and we'll um, we'll up we'll have to upkeep. I'll put some flower beds in and the urn things and everything else. Um, and guess what? I forgot to bring materials. Paper and wooden planks. Okay, so paper and wooden planks. Someone someone write this down. Paper and wooden planks. Before I forget again. Paper and wooden planks. Holy crap only. Okay. Uh, oh, this guy's pretty much done with that. Can I grab? Do you have any cargo? Can I grab? Oh, they're all here. Doi. Of course, I didn't see that there. Paper and paper and cargo. No, not paper and cargo. Paper and thing. Oh gosh, paper and planks. Got it. Paper and planks. We're back at the refugee camp. All right. Finally, I should be. God. Damn it. Can I get some sticks from this guy? Okay. <laughs> that was lucky. That was really lucky. Okay. Thank God I did not have to go all the way back. Back uh, back to the uh, base to collect things. Uh, let's put one tent right there. Right next to the... Um, well. As a source of water. How many of you? How many of you guys are there? You, there's three of you. You've got so many tents, and there's only three of you. That's a bit sad, honestly. Oh uh, god, you've got the Rona. Ha! Ah, we've got another space now. Hey, we can have a max of five happiness. Yeah, uh -huh, five happiness. Okay. Ooh, new refugees. Oh, okay. So lovely. They've got space. Ooh, I like it. Everyone's sort of happy. Excellent work. We appreciate it, my friend. Especially now when we've almost run out of fresh water. Glad to be useful. Ask the old servant to inform my friends in town that we're ready to take them in. And just the one extra tent is enough, right? I'm not sure. There are dozens of people on the Inquisitor's list. Now set up one more tent. That'll be good, but we're still having trouble with food, and new people will only aggravate the problem. Obviously, we need a garden for growing vegetables. It looks like that's, there's no problem you can't solve Graveyard Keeper. Okay. So I've got a new task, to build a garden. So it looks like we need to build a garden. Uh, which isn't hard. This is doable, filch and bullets. Filch and bullets, I can I can actually do that. I've got enough resources to do that. Uh, can I actually help by extracting water? I can. And I can put the water in there. And I'll put some food in there with you guys. Let's put 25 for now. Because that then frees up one more of my slots. And hopefully we'll increase happiness. So filch and billets. Uh, how many filch and how many billets? I don't recall. A lot. A, a decent amount of filch and billets. Uh, but I can essentially drag one or two of these logs down with me while I'm doing that. Hey, hey! Okay, so filch and bullets shouldn't be too much of a problem because now I don't have to chop down trees manually anymore. Perfect. Although it is a bit of a pain in the ass to drag all the logs down. Um, I can't wait for the next Sunday so that we can get a more faith to resurrect a thing or magic, uh, a new zombie so that it can act as a, cour a courier I wonder what I need to do to uh, get zombies to bring shit down here for me. Is there, is there something I can build here? Zombie core? No, I can't. Uh, so, what did I say? Any? Filch and billets. Uh, I've got three logs. I can build one of that. And one of that. And I think I need more billets than just five. So let's make another one. And I'm out of energy. Just, let's just finish what I've got there so far. Um, 10 is 10 enough that's 12 and I'll grab 2 more filch from there I get the feeling like that's not enough I'll keep that on me I'll keep those on me I'll, keep, I'll put the stones back in um, but I get the feeling that that's somewhat not enough uh, I'll take this opportunity to sleep first ooh green hello let's sleep Sleep, 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 get some energy back. Um, I might cut down a few more trees, get another, another section of billets and filch, honestly. 
probably some planks, maybe, for the apiary type thing. Um, oh, it's still dark. So let's cut down a couple of trees. Um, okay, so that hopefully gets us enough... Enough... Think of a bobs. Uh, enough wood logs. I kind of want to cut down this tree there because it's blocking my line of sight slightly. But that adds a little bit of a charm to the area that we're in. So I also don't really want to get rid of it entirely. It's a tough decision, honestly. Really tough decision. Oh, four. Okay, that's that's plenty of logs. Okay, well, that's good. Um, one and a two. Oh, we need two more, don't we? Gosh darn it. Did you guys see that? The lights just went off by themselves. I, I wonder who's turning on the lights on and off. Like, spirits, maybe, perhaps? Really makes you wonder. It would be kind of cool if that is like a guy that just wanders around turning, turning the lights on and off. Uh, okay, so I need more filch. One more billet. And probably some wood planks. Uh, but I won't make them this way. I will make another filch and probably make six wood planks manually. I'll make five. I'll make five manually. Okay, so hopefully that's enough. Oh no, we need paper, don't we? So, okay, we'll, click, we'll get some paper real quick. Um, we'll get some paper real quick. Just so that we can make that apiary. It is Taurus Day, so that means Snake is back. Uh, do we need Snake for anything? I don't think so. No, I don't think we do. I do need to make more paper by the looks of it. We need more science. Science leads to other stuff, but we need faith in order to use the science. It's a catch-22, and we need the faith to resurrect the body. Um, so... To do to get more faith, you need up the church and the graveyard, etc., etc., etc. So we'll probably try to do that in, uh, next time. Um, up the graveyard a little bit more. We'll try to bring it up to fifty, like I said before. Uh, there's plenty of stones around, and we know how to do it now. So, and especially with the unlimited stone source there, that'll be really nice to have. Well, at least, at least I think it's unlimited. Apiary. Okay, let's make the apiary. Oh, this only makes the workbench. Ah, crap. Ah, oh, crap. I need 10 bees. I think I've got like one. Oh, well, let's clear out some of this area. Uh, that gives us some scrap and some filch. That's perfect. Uh, looks like all the apiary zones, we need to clear them out eventually so that we can put new apiaries there. That's fine, but we need 10 bees. I think that will be that will be the challenge at the moment. Getting 10 bees. Is there a bit of technology that I can get to get more bees? Uh, bee friends, even though so you enough time to collect honey from a beehive. Okay, so we need that. We kind of need that. Uh, he's still going along, chopping down the trees, and hopefully there will be enough happiness here. Three point one two five. Okay, three point one two out of five. That's good. That's a good start. Uh, really? I don't have enough filch. Oh, that's. Disappointing. I had 21. I thought that would be enough. Okay, well, we've taken a bit of water. Hopefully, if I drop some more water in there, they'll be happy with the water. Um, I'll have to go get some filch. I guess I have to go get some more filch. But while I'm here, let's get more bees. We need 10 bees. That's... That's, that's a lot of bees. And we're running low on food. We've still got the jelly, which is fine. We've got plenty of jelly for that. Um, but we need more food. I wonder... I wonder how many carrots we have, we have left. Uh, we might I might consider thinking about another zombie farm. Uh, just so that we have a variety of food. Because if you remember... If you recall beets... The cook beets give you better, like a better energy percentage. Ooh. Uh, better energy percentage than the cooked carrots. Although we should be making something else, like sauerkraut, for example. Uh, we're not quite there yet. Ooh, just honey. Is that it? Oh well. Um, 
Yeah, okay. So we've got a lot of things to do, a lot of resources to collect, and it's just time consuming. Uh, I do want to go back down in the dungeon at some point. I don't really have a reason to go back down in the dungeon uh, at this point in time, but just feel like fighting something, you know? Just feel like swinging my sword at something and uh, just absolutely murderizing the uh, the enemy. Do a whole Doom-esque style thing where, hey, all the enemies are bad. Here you go. Here's my gun. I have no idea what I'm talking about anymore, as you can tell. It's all this back and forth, walking back between the refugee camp and forgetting what items I need and stuff. That's doing my head in. Ah, oh, crap. The bats are back. Ah, no. Run out of energy. Uh, probably I should go back in the daytime. You know what I can do with my energy? Make some paper. I've got tons of bat wings. Let's make some paper. Oh my god. Because what else is paper for? To make meat. Oh, do I have any carrots on me? Let's go get some carrots. Let's put some carrots in the box. Uh, we need uh, more bodies, don't we? At this point. Yeah, let's get. Let's put some carrots in the box. Got a funny feeling that I'll need a lot more bodies soon. Uh, fudge knuckles. Okay, let's use up the crops, the waste crops that we have. I wonder whether it's gonna let me craft, 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 craft. Nope, don't craft. Okay, well, that's fun. Uh, can I take anything away? Take the hemp, hemp away. And the carrots go straight in. Lovely, I'll take none of them. I'll take, eat that, take the carrots. And zombie man, what are you doing? Can I ask you to craft more carrots? Can. There you go, craft more carrots for me. Uh, while you're doing that, let's put some carrots into the box. I think it was five carrots to a zombie. So let's try to get two more zombies. Oh, we'll put one in first. Yeah, we'll put one. Oh no, you can only put one lot. So that's 10 carrots, that's two zombies. We'll put one lot, we'll get two bodies to start with and we'll try and do stuff to it, I guess. Uh, let's, have some, let's have a nappy poo. Quick and nappy poo. I don't recall what the other machine in the basement needs now. Oh God. My memory is going, my memory is going. Okay, we need 10 bees though. I think we've got one, two so far. We've got two bees. I'm so refreshed. Ah, uh, th those flowers make a really nice, um, make it a really nice place to live. Forgot I needed the silk for something. That's why I'm carrying it around. Uh, let's put the carrots in there. Let's put the other second bee in there. Uh, bat wings we can hold on to. Uh, ash, we need ash. We'll put it downstairs. Um, I'll put the scrap in this box at least. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the way to go. Um, that's it. Oh, and the metal. We don't need the metal bars. Okay, well, uh, let's first of all worry about the refugee camp. Let's go back to the refugee camp. We've got the stuff to build. Um, We've got the filch now, I think. I think we do. Oh god. Did I make the filch? Yes, 28. Okay, we've got enough to make a garden. So let's start with that. Let's help the refugees out. They've been hanging around there for far too long without any sort of food supply. I've just left them on the, on the wayside for like weeks and weeks and weeks and then I'm surprised they're still even alive. Uh, but we'll get we'll get the more honey on the way up there. We'll get uh, bees? No? Nope. No bees. We'll get, we'll get some logs on the way back. Um, let's see now. Fireflies, I don't need fireflies. What's the happiness like? It's 4.39. Happiness at 4.39, that means we can build two things. Okay, this is good. I like this. Uh, fence supplies, so let's build the fence supplies. Oh, okay, it's just a little plop on thing there. Uh, okay, and we'll get a new refugee. Why not? While we're, we're at it, does the guy just appear? Does he just appear? I think he does. Why is a refugee happens at four now? That doesn't make sense. Hell. 
Okay, here's what it is. Apparently we've got another refugee. Hey, we've got gardens. A garden. 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 I can't apparently pronounce garden. Uh, oh, you must be the new refugee. Can I... He hello? No? Okay. Oh, hello. Hello. How, how are you doing? Good, I guess. Um, do you need help with the garden? Garden bed. Pete and more... God. More fetch quests. Um... On the bright side, we can do this. That isn't that hard. Hey, uh, let's focus on the garden bed, which is more filch and more... Um, what was the other thing? We've got enough food, don't we? Let's get some more filch. For them, and peat. Filch and peat. So next time we come up here, we just gotta remember filch and peat. But camp development, uh, leave. Okay, I don't need, don't need to hear any more of that. Let's get some bees on the way down. Is, are you ready? No, you're not. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, let's get these logs down to our main camp. On the way down, we really need those cor uh, couriers. The uh, the people, not the country. So. Left, down, this feels a little bit like a claw game. I'm just gotta go manage your claw, go left, go down, go left, or go right. Oh, oh no! Oh, don't slip. Okay, oh god. Damn it. You know what? It's a good mini game to like learn how to push this, these logs. Ah, come on. And we're back home, sweet home. Okay, that's close enough, me thinks. Okay, so Pete's and stuff, great. That's all going, going, going. We've got more maggots. A, hey, we're just back in time for the donkey. He's gonna drop the body in the hole. Lovely. We're gonna see if this body has a soul. Very dark looking rag. That's alright. Open. Can we we can extract soul? Let's, do we wanna try? Dairy? Let's do it. It's basically a giant centrifuge by the looks of it. Now what does this thing need again? It need, needs polishing paste, which we can make. Um, armed soul. Okay, so if I put the soul now in here. Um, how do I know what I need to heal the soul? Do I, do I know what I need to heal the soul? Do I just put like an organ in there? How, how do I, oh god, okay, okay, let's pull the soul out, let's pull it out, let's open that, let's put the soul in there, so we've got a soul container, soul container has one soul, as a soul occupant of the soul container, one soul, okay, let's take the body, oh, uh, you know what, perhaps if we do an autopsy on the body, it'll tell us what exactly it needs, so let's have a quick look-see look, and we'll put, put you on the table, um, it does not tell us what it needs. It's not a super great body anyways. And now with that, how do I figure out what, what it needs? That's a bit annoying. Is there anything I can build in the meantime? Chest pallet, soul container, nope. Okay, well. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Uh, we need more skulls anyway, so we'll remove the skull um, so that the ritual area, the snake's ritualistic area, has more decorations. We'll remove the meat, I guess, and we'll take some. We'll take some of the other organs out. We'll take all the organs out, just because we can, and we don't know exactly what we need from uh, for this soul extraction area thing. So let's remove everything we can. Bones, bones, and organ. Uh, fats, fats are needed for the candles. The heart, yes. The heart needs stuff. Uh, large intestines. And I've run out of energy. And skin, lovely. And we need to burn this thing, so that means billets and then we can we can make bank, essentially. So let's go over here, let's drop off some of the organs we've already got. Nope, I'm keeping the skull, I'm keeping the that. I'm Dropping everything else, I keep blood. 
I doubt that they, 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 they'll need the blood. Uh, we'll need the fats. Oh, crappy, crapoli. Okay, skin and the heart. It's a little bit of a back and forth, but whatever. Uh, let's drop off the heart. Can this, does this do anything? Organs modification. Do I do any craft? So I need the broken shards for that. Okay, so brain up, brain down. Yep, okay. Okay. So I need the broken shards for that. So I need more bodies. So the body's actually useful now, but it just takes just takes a lot of time and a lot of effort to try and figure out what needs. Why do I, why am I holding the brain again now? Gosh darn it. That's okay, that's okay. Let's put the brain back in. Done. I wish the music change wasn't so drastic. And the fat's the fat's just gonna follow me. Uh, it's moon day again. Jeez, it's been one whole week. Uh, and thankfully, it's not the start of another episode just yet. <laughs> uh, oh, we did say we're going to buy hemp hemp oil. Didn't we? I thought we did. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Uh, well, I've just got to make a mental note. We're, we've got to go get some hemp oil. Where do I make candles? Is it here? Yes, it's here. I've, I think I've got enough beeswax now. And we've got enough rope so we'll have to we'll have to make that at some point i'll uh, put the skin here skull the meat we'll carry around because we'll we'll just make that into to prop normal meat i'll grab one paper uh from here we can make more hemp rope, hemp rope if we need where do i make paper okay so i need pig skin paper to make clean paper let's go let's make some pig skin paper because Gosh darn it, we have a lot of bat wings. Like a literal... Oh, it's not that bad, actually. Yeah, it's not that bad. Uh, let's make one more pigskin paper. Oh no, we're making clean papers now, apparently. So let's use the pigskin paper to make clean paper. So that we have enough to wrap shit up with. Let's put nine. Let's get one to wrap this meat in lovely we're getting places people we are getting places very slowly but still we're getting there hearts gosh it's just unnerving to see an entire chest full of hearts and brains imagine in real life if you walk up to a, a little freezer cooler type thing and you just find hearts and brains in there and not the good kind. Um, okay, well, we need billets. Okay, we're back here. We need billets. I've got five on me. I think, I think that's enough to burn a body. I can't remember now. So, let's see. Okay, so the donkey's still going to drop off more bodies today. Because I've asked for two. I need eight. Eight billets. Damn it. Uh... And we do have the silk to up. Oh, it's Sunday the next day. Okay, we have the silk to up our. Ooh, forgot about these. Uh, we have the silk to up our our little pew things. So we've got up the pew things, the pews to a nicer looking pew, I guess. Uh, let's put the that away. Let's put these away. Do need to go fishing at some point. I've got some fishes that I can, uh, some uh, fish that I can eat to make. To have better quality fishing, I guess. Oh, just shy. Okay, another five billets. That'll allow us to burn the body that's currently in our basement. So let's do that. That'll give us another certificate. We'll go sell it in town. We'll buy the oil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're getting places just very slowly, and there's so many things to do. So many things. Okay, place for burning bodies. Let's build that. Now we do need to prepare for Sunday, and once Sunday happens, we can get more faith. The faith will allow us to resurrect the body, which is which should be this new body that we're about to get from the donkey. Or do we want to use one of the old ones? I think we use one of the old ones and see what happens. Might as well, right? Uh, the graveyard is still in piss poor quality which is no good. 
Uh, there's a praying station here, which... Okay, well... There's no one to make a confession, that's fine. Can we now make the wooden... Church bench? The soft church bench. Oh, jointing, I need jointing, that's right. Oh well, that means that this place is going to be as good as it's going to get for now. Um, hmm. That's a little bit disappointing. Well, that's very disappointing, if anything. Um, let's see if we have enough beeswax to make to make a candle, one candle at least. If not, we can probably buy some. We've got a decent amount of cash. 7 silver, 43 copper. That's a decent amount of cash. I'm more concerned, like, if people walk by my farm and see a zombie working there, I wonder what they're going to think about it. Uh, put the ash away, let's put the sticks away, the billets away. Put one plank, so no point holding on to that. And how many beeswax do we have? I've got one, that's not enough. I've got two, that might be enough. <laughs> um, and there's our body. Okay, the body should be fine for now. Let's head into the basement. Uh, maybe I have enough rope. If not, the hab is somewhere. Do I have enough rope here? No, okay. Well, looks like I have to make some rope or I have to make some hemp. Uh, yep, okay, so there's enough beeswax to make a candle. One single candle. I do not have enough hemp. Ooh, boy. It's a lot of back and forth, walking back and forth. Uh, we've got to extract the soul from that body as well. Come on. Oh no, it's up here. Yeah, uh, so we need four to make that. And I'll probably drop the salt off here as well. Yep. Uh, it's the end of Moon Day. Okay, well, we didn't have to go see the astrologer anyways. So that's fine. We should try and make our way into town as well, since I've got a town pass. We haven't even tried getting into town, so that could be a thing to do. Oh, that was really quick to make rope. Let's make our one candle. A one candle in anticipation of... Um, of Sunday. It is night time, so we shall sleep it off. We've got a little bit of health to regain anyways. We've just got to sleep it off, and I haven't picked up the body yet, have I? Oh, that's going to rot in my basement. That's going to absolutely rot in my basement. Oh, God. It is Sunday. Let's get more faith today. So refreshed. So freaking refreshed. Oh, it's way too foggy to be outdoors. So we'll go through the basement. Hip-hop, hippity-hop, hip-hop, hippity Is it, is it 95%? Have I left it for too, too far too long? Uh, I've got enough space in my inventory, so that's fine, I guess. We should also have a look at what technologies we uh, can unlock next. Uh, no, we need the courier more than anything, really. Alright, let's see this guy. What's he... Oh, this is a terrible body. Thank God I'm, I'm, I'm extracting the soul. Bing bang bomb, I've got one harmed soul. Let's take the body and stick it somewhere else. Let's put the harm soul into the soul container. And move this somewhere else. Can I drop it? Uh, what do I want to do with this guy? I haven't even started embalming yet, honestly. Um, let's see, autopsy, autopsy table. It's, it's not a great condition body. We do need the fat, the skin, the skull and the meat. So let's work on that. Oh, actually, it is daytime. Let's go. Let's go do our sermon first. We've got candles. Yes, 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 yes. Right, let's drop the skull in here while we're at it. Um, I don't need anything else. I got four candles, so hopefully they'll brighten up the place a little bit more. Yep. Let's put one candle in there. Oh, come on. Lovely. One. Okay, so these take two candles each. Well, that brought the quality up to 29. That's not too bad. Could be much worse. 
but the place is looking a little bit better. We were at 20 the last time we did a sermon, so let's have a look. Uh, ba -ba 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 sermon. We should also have a look, start having a look at other prayers, the better kind. Uh, like to say a few words. Ooh, we're more than full up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 people. Jeez, that's a lot of faith. You gave me more faith. I like how the light glows at the at the back is as though it's I'm um, doing this prayer at night. Um and all of a sudden it just turns day for a second. Ten faith, that's exactly what we need. Okay, the average went down. That's a bit that's a bit sad. Right, so regardless of what sermon I've got, it looks like the amount of money I get, or regardless of how many people I get, the amount of money I get is going to be the same every single time. That's a little bit annoying. I didn't expect that. Uh, but we now have the right ingredients to probably start resurrecting something, someone. Uh, I'll grab a zombie juice because I think that's what it needs. That's what you need to... Yeah, I think that's what we need to use to resurrect the body. I've, I didn't realize I've got ink there. I've got more faith there. Uh, I've got more faith coming up my wazoo than I thought. Okay, let's resurrect the body. Let's do it. I've got two here just for the occasion. Finally, we're going to figure out what, what, what we can actually do with more zombies. Uh, it's down here, isn't it? Yeah. It is a zombie juice. Okay. Resurrect. Did that succeed? I've... Uh, is, is that... Okay, hang on. Does that give me a better quality body? Like, if I, if I embalm them, do I get better quality bodies? So many questions. Alright, let's get more zombie juice. I have no idea how to make more zombie juices. We'll figure it out next time, but for the time being... I guess we make more zombies? We've got another body there, so let's give this another shot. We've got enough faith for it, so why not, right? And having, a, an, um, having a, an excess of zombies might be good for me. Resurrect? Ooh. Oh, hello. We've got more zombies. Now if I chuck this guy at the logging camp, will he will he transport the logs for me? If he does, then I don't have to worry about making um planks out of filch anymore. Oh, okay, this is gonna be fun. Okay, put Yes! Wait, he decomposes? Is that what that means? But we've done it! We've automated... Wood gathering. Oh, life is so simple now. Oh, this is brilliant. This is absolutely brilliant. He's going to deliver all the wood I will ever need back to my base. Let's grab this. Uh, okay. You know what? That's good. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Nope. I do not want to fight you, bats. I really hope, really, really hope that um, he, my zombie guy doesn't get attacked along the way the next time. Um, unfortunately, that's all the time I've got for today. That was a very, very very successful um session so thanks for watching everyone don't forget to like and subscribe if you like what you saw and want to see more um, and i'll catch you in the next episode thanks bye